the subject, City of Loveland. Ms. Mershon, would you come to the podium, please? Yes, I have a question, actually, for the solicitor. Um, I'm actually here to discuss a letter I received on Saturday. It was sent to me certified mail with an additional copy to make sure that I received it. It was a spoilization, excuse me, a spoil, <laughs> I have a hard time pronouncing this, a spoilation warning from an attorney representing Mr. Fitzgerald in his official capacity as mayor of Loveland. If I may, he says, personally and relative to the matters discussed in this letter in his capacity as the mayor of Loveland, Ohio. I'm wondering, do you have a copy of that letter? Mr. Braun, you may uh, respond you if, you, if, you, if you will. I don't, I don't have a copy of it. Would you care to have a copy of it, since it involves the city? Uh, if you want to give me a copy, you can. I have not Provided. reviewed it and am not prepared to answer any questions. But I, That's certainly not. I'm not prepared to ask questions at the moment. Okay. This notice alleges false and defamatory statements have been made by me and others and I'm here tonight to refute this allegation in its entirety. There is nothing personally that I have stated that is not a matter of public record or available for a quick internet search. And I will not conjecture as to why this letter was sent. Clearly, the intent stands on its own. I will say this, FEAR, F-E-A-R, has two meanings, forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. And the choice is ours. I'd like to thank Zig Ziglar for that quote, because I'm facing everything and I'm rising. We're going to face everything and we're going to rise. Mr. Mayor, I will not allow myself to be intimidated by you, by members of this council that align themselves with you, or by the city, should they choose to align themselves with this action. Allow me, allow me to interrupt you tonight, this, both personally and as a member of the LCHB PAC, the, the we will face everything to together and rise. I thank you for strengthening my resolve in that regard. Madam. I will rise as others will. We will not be deterred because I am not more determined than ever that our community needs a change. We will rise by continuing to attend and question council and CIC meetings if necessary. We will rise continuing to make our community a better place. We will rise during the upcoming elections, educating our community and supporting candidates who have a positive vision for our entire community. And we will rise to meet this challenge and I am one of many. Thank you. Allow me to remind everyone that the business of the city is what's to be discussed at the podium. And there is no, and in fact, by rule of counsel, it is impermissible to impugn the integrity or the motive of any council person. Uh, you just got up there and read a, a correspondence which has absolutely nothing to do with the city of Lovely. So, so, and, and furthermore, and further, and further, you're out of order. And furthermore, you mentioned or referenced other council members. There is no involvement of any other council member. This is a personal matter, and I don't think it's a personal matter, sir. You're out of order. The next person to appear. Ah! Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are. <laughs>